We are at InfaPro, a short name for InnoPrize Face Foundation Rainforest Rehabilitation Project, next to Danong Valley Conservation Area in Sabah. This is one of the large-scale rainforest rehabilitation projects to plant trees to absorb the CO2 emissions gases from the atmosphere. This project has become a model, not only in Sabah, but also throughout Southeast Asia and the world. InfaPro started off in 1992. It's a collaboration project between the FACE Foundation from the Netherlands and the Asan Sabah. The objective of this project is to rehabilitate the severely degraded forest. This area has been locked over since the 70s and 80s. Way back then, people were thinking of forestry just for timber itself. Nobody knows so much about uh, climate change. No one knows so much about biodiversity. So this is a novel idea at that time, to plant trees to absorb the CO2 emissions gases from the atmosphere. When we started off uh, this rainforest project, there are lots of challenges. We have to raise the seedlings first. In this project, we deal with the indigenous species. With these people cups, they only produce flowers once, five to seven years, and sometimes some species up to 14 years. It's a gregarious flowering uh, behavior. So because of that, it's quite difficult to produce seedlings all year round. So we need to know when they are fruiting and flowering. And once we got seeds to be produced, then we must uh, raise them in our nursery. So it takes about one year to raise them. In the meantime, the compartments in the, in the forest are being prepared for the planting. Most important, we must maintain the planted seeds because they are very vulnerable and they are in seedling stage. Lime planting was chosen when we started all this way back in 1992, but the lime is actually just a guide for ease of work and cost effectiveness, and the ease also to audit and monitor. Another team that comes and do the audit, and we call that the census. So we do a 100% census to see how much survived and what has been lost. We will replace them and resupply the ceilings. We need a lot of the local manpower. All these manpower has come from the local communities in Sabah. So we actually employ them, give them job, and train them to become good foresters to rehabilitate these forests. So the forest is now growing very well. They are all large trees. When they grow up, they don't look like a plantation look. From the top of the canopy, you will see mixed canopy look. The whole forest is actually fully stocked, much better than the virgin forest because of the heavy different cups uh, species that we put in. A lot of them are vulnerable and endangered now. So this has become the future mother trees for the next rehabilitation project. This project has become a model in the region, not only in Sabah, but also throughout the Southeast Asia and the world. It's a good showcase it's for carbon offset. We live in harmony with the wildlife, so we also plant indigenous fruit trees like figs, so at least the wildlife in the future also has food. These trees will absorb more CO2 gases from the atmosphere through photosynthesis. So as they grow bigger and bigger, more and more carbon are being stored. And so this is how the project of carbon offset comes about. So the forest is now acts as a carbon sink and is uh, producing a lot of premium oxygen, as you can see here. After 30 years of this project, we finally rehabilitated the forest successfully. We don't get restored to the original, but at least we get 80 to 90 percent of it back to the original. In terms of wildlife, we have plenty of wildlife that comes here. For it's a playground for Bonyan wildlife, all the iconic species, including the orangutan, the Bonyan pygmy elephants, the sun bears. All these uh, endangered and vulnerable critical species are still here. I'm very proud that this project, way back in 2011, achieved the first in Asia 
voluntary carbon standards from the UN IPCC that regulates the trades for carbon offset. This is why it was uh, so famous and become a model. I hope that future generations learn from this and in the future, more and more areas be rehabilitated in Sabah.